mm-hmm. that and just like the the total demand of like pushing overdrive and stuff like that. All there was exactly like that. Yeah. I'm gonna fight. Okay, you. That's who I'm gonna fight. Yeah, I'll fight him. Yeah. Wait. Okay, that's who I'm okay. gonna fight. Yeah, I'll fight him. Yeah, that's what. What's it called? He, he fought Uri- Uriah Faber. He fought Uriah Faber not on the Uriah Faber way down. He fought Uriah Faber at Uriah Faber's peak. When Uriah Faber was the most, when he was at his most dangerous, yeah, and made him look like a clown, made him look like a clown, you know. <laughs> when he fought Mike Brown, same thing. He fought Mike Brown right after he just like yeah. got done destroying Uriah Faber, and he made Mike Brown look like a <laughs> fucking fool. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's another fighter? Cerrone, yeah, is that type. Cerrone, you know, for you know a lot of people I know people don't like him and stuff, but I I like him for this reason. Mainly, the dude will take a fight on shortest fucking notice yep. possible, no matter what. And that, and that, because that goes back to like, yeah, I think he does it. I think he does it for money. Don't get me wrong, because that's what you're in it for. But I think he also does because he loves the fight. He loves yeah. that. You know, he's not picking. You know, he's like, nah, yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, I'll take him. Fight, fight I'll take him fuck, bring him in. <laughs> yep. You know. I think with Aldo, I think he like he was like that before. But I mean, he's gotten older. He's gotten more. Wearing tear in his body. Yeah. He's got, what's it called? He did a lot of fucking, he did a lot of title defenses almost back to back. Yeah. Times, man. Oh, fuck yeah. And it wasn't like, it was, it what's it called? It wasn't like he was just fighting like little cream. He was fighting hard ass fucking dudes. Yeah. You know, he was fighting, he was fighting top, like, I mean, guys at the top, in the he top of his division. He wiped out this division. Yeah. Way before Connor did. Yeah. You know, and they're talking about like Connor wiped out the division. Really? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he didn't. He, he, he got the cleanup. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's those cracks. I mean, yeah, Connor like, Connor finally fought some, you know, caught, fought a couple d- d- couple uh, tough dudes, but like yeah. he didn't clean up the division. Mm. He just moved on yeah. from the division. There's a difference. Yeah. He moved on because there's no there's no power names in the division for him yeah. to generate that kind of money he's making right yeah. now. I mean, Silver did the same thing for a yeah. while there too. He cleaned up the division until Weidman came along. Right. Yeah. You know. The only difference between like that one is just like I said, Con. What's it called? Like, Silva pretty much cleaned out the division for the longest time when he was on top, mm-hmm. but he stayed in the division. Yeah. Well, and, you know, because he was just cool with the money he was making and stuff like that, where, where uh, Connor was like, ah, there's no names for me to fight. Uh, I'm going to move up and go look for the guys that he, he Connor is like kind of did more of a, more of a, uh, the boxers approach when it comes to the business side of it, you know? Get a belt, move up. Yeah, belt, get a belt, up. move up. Not not even so much move up, but get Martin. the belt and yeah. get a belt and then go after the name guys. That way you can generate more money. Yeah. You know, that, that you see you see that move. You saw that move done all the time in boxing, especially like in in the old in in the ninety in the nineties, eighties mm-hmm. and nineties and shit. You know, the uh, guys want to just fight any. They just fight the top the the top name guys. You know, oh well, yeah, I'll fight. I'm just throwing the name out there. You know, not saying this ever happened, but like, yeah, I'll fight Holyfield because I know that 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 one's gonna generate a shitload of fucking yeah. pay per view sales. So yeah, I'm gonna fight Holyfield. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'll fight fucking Buster Douglas. Insane fucking pay per view sales. <laughs> 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 and in some sense, like, it's, you know, there's really nothing wrong in that. In most sense, it's like, yeah, you know, as a fighter, for the most part, generate as much money as you can, then get the fuck out. Yeah. You know, um. For most, there's nothing really wrong in that. I mean, like, if you would ask the younger me, I'd have been like, nah, that's this bitch. If I wanted to be a businessman, I would have stayed in school, blah, 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 blah. Now, nowadays, I look at it from old, from an older cat's view, too. You know what, man? Yeah, get their money, get the fuck out. This bitch is hard. <laughs> 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 and, and, you know, just make some money and get the hell out. You know, get, I get that part now, you know, but as a purist, yeah, I still favor, you know, as a purist and it's like looking, you know, at, and in some sense, it is a fanboy, you know. Don't dis don't don't talk don't disrespect the motherfucker that I actually favor and I actually have a lot of I have a lot, I have a, a lot of admiration for when you don't know shit yeah you know and that's mainly it I get I'm get I get like that's why I get tired of the most it's like you know I'm getting tired of like motherfuckers running their mouth and it's like you don't know shit you really don't know nothing you don't even know history behind the person you're talking shit about you know. And that's what's it. Like mo- most of these fuckers, they have no knowledge of what, of who Aldo really is. He's been and what he's forever, done. right? He's is that been, yeah? He's he like held that forty. Kids. He held that. I mean, what's it called? On top of that, does even. Yeah, and yeah, he's been fighting for a long time. But no, uh, 
the, I'm just talking about even recent. That 45 belt was held by Aldo for a long yeah. ass oh, fucking yeah. time. I remember. He was the UFC's first 40, 145 champion <laughs> because he held when they bought out WEC. Yeah. He had that belt in WEC. Yeah, and he had a long title reign in WEC too. <laughs> And like I said, he was taking out, and he never ran. He never ran from nobody. He always took on top. He always took on top contenders, and he took on anybody and shit like that, you know. And it, and he and he would look, he would make them look. What's it called? He would even like guy like later on when he took on um Menendez and shit like that mm-hmm. before Menendez, Menendez started. He, Menendez on a little bit of a downslope as a le- as a recent now though, but you know Menendez when he fought Aldo was going strong, and. Even though some say that was a that was a hard fight, that was a close fight. Not what's it called? You, you saw some weaknesses in in Aldo and stuff like that. In the sense of like he didn't like run through through Menendez, but he made Menendez look human. Mm-hmm. At a time of which Menendez did not look human. Yeah, he fought everyone else. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and, and same thing. He fought. Uh, I forgot the dude's name. Ah, fuck! I forgot his name now. I mean, not, you know, I'm so I'm not even gonna talk about that fight. But no, nah, that's what all those always done. You know, when he fought when he fought Frankie Anger, it was kind of the same thing. You know, he he, he just he runs through <laughs> people. You know, yeah. <laughs> and he held and he held on the he fell down the 45 belt for a very long time, and he had almost back to back to back title defenses. Yeah. You know, there was a while where like he was practically on almost every de- fucking UFC. Mm-hmm. Defending the fucking forty five belt. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the key word, defending the belt. Yeah. You know? That that's that is one knock that I will say about Connor and shit like that. He you can't say you're the most dominant such and such when you haven't defended any fucking belt, you know? Really, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say you're the top creme la creme or alpha of this or pound for pound when yeah. you haven't even defended any of the fucking titles you've won. You know? <laughs> when you def- when you defend your first title then you know I'll I'll accept more of that shit, mm-hmm. you know. And yeah, am I putting more stipulations? Like, of course I am, because this is common sense, you know. Defend your belt. Yeah. You know, yeah. Now, now, now he he chose to stay at the fifty-five rank. That's fine. Defend your fucking belt before you take on another fight, maybe at Walter Wade or something like that. Trying to fight, trying to chase all uh, what's his name? Um, I forgot his fucking name now. The black Who's... guy. Oh, oh, uh, fuck. Well, uh, Woodley. Woodley. Yeah. 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 You know what? Like before, you take on Tyson Woodley. Why don't you defend your fifty-five title first? <laughs> 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 oh, would Woodley would get more money? You know what else? It, it'd be nice for you to fund the fucking belt for a change, you <laughs> shithead. <laughs> <laughs> Not to go ahead and the fact that, and then have your little fanboys talk shit about like whoever takes that belt afterward. Yeah. It's like, nah, you defend your fucking belt. You're supposed to be the champion. That's what champions do, defend their fucking belt. He, he, he cleared out the 155 yeah, division. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he cleared it out. He, he cleared- didn't fight anybody. He fought <laughs> fucking Alvarez. That was it. He's, he ain't fucking fighting the other two guys that have legit title shots. Yeah. Oh man, but he, that, this is my whole. That's my. That's my whole thing on Connor. That's why again, it's uh, it's hard for me to even like remotely like. You know what? No, nah, no, nah, I'll give. Because anytime like I'm about ready to get, you be like, you know what? I'm gonna give him a little respect. Maybe he ain't so bad. Nah, nah, he's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Yeah, he's a cunt. I'm not even gonna bother. Fuck it. <laughs> because of that right there, defend your fucking belt, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we've been all over the place today, right? <laughs> gremlins, though, fuck that, man. Let's just <laughs> yeah, let's finish up with Gremlins. That was the last podcast episode, which we scratch and yeah. y'all ain't gonna hear yeah, it because hear that... it ever because I gotta get rid of it. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of it because yeah. it's so much. It was cursed, dude. Yeah. Because every time we try to restart back up, it fucking it just fucked started up. up again. It's like, yeah, oh, that that's an episode that just never was gonna happen. Nah. So, but um. I was watching Gremlins. Yeah, um, I've been watching Gremlins. Um, Amazon Prime, thank God for that. You can watch, like, free movies. So Gremlins is one of their movies, so I've been watching it. And um, Gizmo, Mogwai, that's what they call him. Yeah. Character, Hello, creature. Mogwai. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, man, if my dad came home with that thing, what the fuck would happen with my house with that damn thing? I was thinking, well, I could just imagine. Now, son... <laughs> There's a couple of rules I need to go over with you. Oh, what's that, Dad? 
Number one? Oh, this thing stinks. I'm going to give it a bath. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad, this thing's running around in his own shit. This thing's, oh, my God. Fuck. This no, is... dry clean only. <laughs> <laughs> dry clean only. Oh, God. <laughs> no, first, hold on. No direct, no, uh, no bright lights. No, do not put it in front of the sun. No die. Oh, so how the fuck am I supposed to dry it off now? <laughs> I was going to hang it up outside. You know what, man? Like, not to interrupt you fully, because it's still in the uh, it's still in the whole conversation of this. I think they would avoid a lot of problems if the fucker just told them like what could happen if like any of these rules were broken. Because they I don't never think he did. Fucking knew. You know, they, they, they never did. But even the father didn't know though. No, but I'm talking about the oh, the, oh, the, 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 the the kid, the the Chinese dude, yeah. the, the shopkeeper. Well, the he shopkeeper, never did. Yeah. Well, no, he not- just. He just said he's the rules to follow. What if they break them? No, never break them. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> the shopkeeper didn't sell it to the kid. The kids, the grandkid of the shopkeeper sold oh, yeah, it that's to right. them. So uh, you think the shopkeeper's grandson would have known what? Okay, hey dude, whatever the fuck you do, don't give a bath. Fucking multiplies. Don't put him son. Fucking dies. Well, you kind of you kind of get that one. Yeah. But don't feed it after midnight because they'll turn to fucking little green fucking little monsters. That's look. what I'm talking about. Yeah. They, they never told them any of the repercussions yeah. of any of this shit. They're just like, yeah, don't get it wet. Don't feed it at the midnight. Yeah. Don't let it get it through the sunlight. Here, have fun now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, why? Just shut the fuck up. I already just told go. you this. Don't do it, all right? I money, motherfucker. Get yeah, the fuck out. Yeah, man. Benjamin's baby. <laughs> He's throwing cocaine off of fucking strippers tonight, man. <laughs> get out of my fucking shop. <laughs> I think that, I think a lot of the problems would have been avoided oh, yeah. had they known yeah. that shit. Well, yeah. they'll turn into evil little green fucking monsters that'll fuck shit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna get it wet now. <laughs> or feed at the. You know what? I don't even think I'm gonna bother about this thing. I yeah. can't trust myself. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> me, I'll tell you this right now. If I had, I mean, we were talking about this. We're on the same page. If either one of us had one of them fucking things. <laughs> Woo, man. <laughs> I'd have an army hell. at the end. Yeah, I'd have an army at the end of the day. <laughs> Is it fucking midnight yet? <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers need to cocoon already. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking A. Midnight is taking forever. I'm a, well, you know what? In the meantime, well, I need more of y'all. <laughs> Gizmo, come here. <laughs> Shut up, Gizmo. Get the fuck over. You know what, Gizmo? You're not cooperating. I don't even need you. Hey, uh, the stripe. There you go. <laughs> now there's more of you. <laughs> Dad comes into the room. Son, what the? Wh- where are these 400 fucking <laughs> gizmos come from? <laughs> oh, you didn't know that? You pour water on them and they multiply. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> Is it midnight by chance, Dad? No, not yet. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're waiting. <laughs> it's like, how full is he? We live in Illinois. If I drive to the East Coast, <laughs> 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 drive to the East Coast, you'll get. <coughs> <laughs> if I go to Indiana or Ohio, that's an Eastern time. That will give me an hour ahead. Because <laughs> I think that maybe was based in Illinois for some reason. I can't remember. No, it was it was based in New York. Was it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, because what's it called? Like the 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 town. Not that it was a fictional town, but the town yeah. of Kingston Falls. They said it was like a suburb of oh. New York or some shit like that in the movie. I remember that. Okay. And uh, oh, even yeah. in, even in the sequel, they what's it called? Like the sequel oh, I know. that was based in yeah. New York, but oh, they yeah. said like oh, when they asked him um, where he grew up at or something like yeah. that, oh, the town two hours north from here, okay. Kingston Falls. Have you heard of it? Or yeah. Shit? yeah, it was some line okay. like that. So yeah, it was New York. I know. I remember that one from like if it, like if it was Illinois, you'd be like, okay, get in the car. <laughs> We're right. going for a car. <laughs> All you little fuckers, get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, but no. Yeah, army. <laughs> we're gonna make a stop at the chicken place. <laughs> get some chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Got feed all you fuckers. Go make it cheap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I'd have a fucking army. At the end, at, you know, once they cocooned and everything. Cause yep. That's the thing. They just don't turn in the. Oh no, no, they, they have to cocoon first. Yeah, you know. So, like, I would, like, throw, like, all the little cocoons and shit in, like, a fucking semi-truck and, like, loads of semis or loads of U-Hauls. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Once they would cocoon and shit like that, I'd release them. Be like, you know what? We'll play. <laughs> 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 Take these knives with you. <laughs> Go have fun. <laughs> 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 We're 
right before that though, I would make, I would like, I would become a, I would become such a terror.